all right to generate an inventory you go under store and then click on inventory after clicking on that you click on blank inventory and then the first thing is you select the location you are counting for and change if there is a need to change next after that is the inventory date you want to do count for and then select the appropriate day in this case i'm going to select uh, leave it at 31st and then the inventory time is it start of day midday or end of day which means this is the value after the whole operation for the day and after that you select unit collection method you can it's always best to use preferred unit only that set in manage store so that you get the option to record them as you actually treat them in your in your store and then you can select the closing method you want if set not counted to zero that means any item you leave blank you did not put an actual count the system will automatically make it zero or set not counted to t theoretical SOH means any item you leave blank the counter value the system automatically carry forward the theoretical as the actual so after that you select the item groups you want to count for if they are for selected item groups or if it, you are doing a whole count you need to just do assign all and then after that you click on create so once you click on create then um, the system should automatically create uh, the doc count document but the reason why i'm getting this pop-up is because there is an active count and that's the inventory number showing uh, here and so what it means is before i can create a new one i need to delete uh, the old one so what we can do in this regard is maybe we'll change our location to somewhere else then assign all again and then click on create So this way it says inventory created with 123 items so once those items are created this is the one we just did and then you can see the document number so you can click on the document uh, number to see all the item groups and click on all and the system will automatically list all the items under each of the item groups so from here you can now put under the count quantity box the actual count that you have based on your physical count in the store and then once you are done with that you click the save button so as to save those inputs and that's how you do the count